So this is the gas pedal hand drill. The advantage of this is there's only two moving parts. The disadvantage is it's pretty specific to the type of wood or natural resource you should use. Mullen on cottonwood root is good. Yucca on yucca is really good. False willow will work, but it is not as good as these, these other two. So this is where we're gonna show the clove hitch. So the easiest way to do the clove hitch is I'm gonna take my right hand and put a bend in the rope going towards my left hand. And I'm gonna do the same process again. And I come up with two loops. That's the way they're gonna look. I take the one that's in my right hand and I place it behind the one that was in my left hand. And then I just slide it over it, slide it down into the position. So for this one, I want enough cordage here so that if the cordage is too short, you can get it to work with the gas pedal, but it's really gonna limit your movement. So I want quite a bit. And you notice I've got a lot of extra tail here. So I'm gonna cinch that out. There we go. So all I'm doing is just pulling some of that out. That's the way it's gonna look. Now I wanna put a couple of half hitches. You see the direction this rope's going? I'm gonna keep going in that same direction and pull the rope underneath. And that's all a clove hitch is. It's just a bunch of half hitches. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Keep going in that direction and tighten it down and you get this nice little cool pattern. The reason I'm doing that is the clove hitch is prone to coming apart with movement. And if I just used one single clove hitch, then it would come undone. It would shake loose on me and I don't want that. So I've put enough there. That will work for now and I just tighten it down. I've got this nice little cool pattern. Now I have something to pull against. I can slide that up if I need to. I could have done a Prusik knot as well and cinched it down. So now I need something to work as the gas pedal. I'm gonna grab something straight. This is false willow here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna tie a clove hitch on it. So again, making a loop from right towards left right towards left again. Slide that loop over my gas pedal and then I'm gonna cinch it down. So I'm gonna check it. It's close, but I want it a little bit further up. So I'm gonna pull on this one and then pull the slack out of the line on the other one. Kinda cinch it up. That's pretty good for a starting position. If I have to, I can move this one up here. But I need a place for my hand on the gas pedal hand drill. So I'm gonna put a couple of half hitches in this. And this clove hitch with half hitches is really good if you're making something like a blow gun. Cause you can put a couple in this and then wrap up something to keep it closed. And that's good enough. Here I'm just gonna wrap it further down and then put another clove hitch. There are other ways of tying the clove hitch. I'm showing you one where you could slide it over an object. And then I'll show you another one just in, in a second. After this video. All right, so that's good enough. That'll cinch down. So I put a couple of half hitches here, which really formed a clove hitch at the end to close it off. So that's what I'm looking for. And you should be able to push down with this and it, it, it's really stable, right? So I'm pushing down here and that's staying up. It's the advantage of this gas pedal hand drill is you can push down and that stays up there. And so that gives me plenty of room to twist. So for the fireboard, you don't want it any more than a half inch thick. This one's kind of in between quarter inch and a half inch, but I've already bored into it. And you don't want your notch too wide. So you can see this notch got too wide and kind of got blown out on the front, meaning that the spindle kind of shot through the front. This is about as thick as I would want my gas pedal hand drill. So I've got the dust 
built up with the gas pedal hand drill. You don't have to apply a lot of pressure with your foot. If you do, it's going to wear your arms out. So right now I'm just heating it up. Not a lot of pressure with your foot because you'll wear your arms out. So I'm letting the dust come up and touch, and now I'm going to go again. <laughs> My arms are wearing up. And now I've got a coal. Real careful with it. So build your dust up first. Very little pressure. So your dust will probably be pretty brown. And then once you get the dust touching the spindle, then you can crank on it, but still don't put too much pressure. Because if you do, you're going to wear your arms out. So again, dust builds up, touches the spindle. Spindle cranks down, speed up. Just the amount of pressure from the weight of your foot, but don't push it down like you would in a car or you'll wear your arms out. So if you feel like you're getting tired, you're putting too much downward pressure.